Hi all, welcome to my 19 week baby update or pregnancy update. I guess I don't have a baby yet, but it is talking about the baby, so <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm one week away from being halfway through this pregnancy, which is just crazy. Time is going so fast, especially when I'm so busy with life and part-time working and chasing around two little kids and the holidays are here and yeah, it's just, it's been a whirlwind. But um, anyway, we are here to talk about me being 19 weeks pregnant. So let me tell you about the baby. I'm just using my pregnancy app from Baby Center just to talk about stats with the baby. So this week the baby is the size of a tomato, which is pretty big. The fingerprints have formed on the baby's hands and toes. Also, their senses are continuing to develop. The white waxy coating is forming on the baby's skin. Um, it helps protect the skin and moisturize it and protects against bacteria. So all good things. As for me, I'm still doing really, really well. I'm still in my second trimester, so I'm feeling great. Um, I'm not really feeling nauseous. I will feel it every now and again. If I don't eat, um, I'll feel a little bit, and then like just randomly throughout the day, like I might have it here or there. But for the most part, it's done. I have been feeling a lot of like uterus stretching <laughs> where the baby is. I just feel like I'll be sitting for a while doing work or watching a show. And then when I get up, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it just feels very like full, I guess is the word I wanna use. So yeah, that's been not the most pleasant thing, but yeah, I've definitely been feeling a lot more stretchiness happening down there and feel a lot more full. I've been peeing a lot which is to be expected. Also, I've been feeling a lot of leg cramps, not too bad lately. Um, I can't remember if I talked about this in my last update, but one morning I woke up, it was before my alarm went off, and I had leg cramps in both of my legs. It was wild. And it was the type where like you could feel it coming on, but it hadn't like fully gotten there yet. And so I was like flexing my feet because I know it's what you're supposed to do to like get rid of a leg cramp. And on my left leg, it worked fine, but my right leg, like it was not working. I kept trying to flex it, trying to flex it, keep it flexed for a while, but then it, like I could just feel my foot starting to point down and then the leg cramp would happen again. So it carried on for so long that I had to get up out of bed and actually like stand up and put weight on my foot to make it flat footed and then finally it went away. Oh, it was so annoying. So I'd say I get leg cramps maybe once or twice a week. I have been feeling baby a lot, only when I'm sitting still, of course, not when I'm like moving around, which is most of my day. But like during nap time when I'm taking it easy and just sitting, um, I definitely feel the baby the most or at night after the kids have gone to bed. I'll feel the baby moving and kicking and so that's always very reassuring to feel and fun. Um, the movements aren't painful yet like they do, uh, like they get in the end of pregnancy. So I'm just enjoying the little movements that I'm feeling right now. I have been dealing with a lot of like nose congestion. I don't think I'm sick. Um, I had a cold like maybe a month ago and so I don't really feel like it's carrying over to now. So I'm wondering if maybe it's pregnancy related. Like a lot of times in the morning, like I just have to blow my nose once and then I'll be fine the rest of the day. So I don't know if that's pregnancy related or not. And then also I get this strange sensation where I all of a sudden get like a really intense tingling in my nose, almost as if like I'm gonna sneeze and then like I never sneeze and then it's just like the tingling gets so intense and then it just goes away. I get that about once or twice a day. Super annoying. <laughs> I'm not really having any cravings, mostly just wanting meat. <laughs> not really craving snacks. I really don't have a lot of snacks because nothing really sounds good to me. The other night I was telling my husband how I was hungry and I wanted something to eat and I just couldn't figure out what I wanted. And strangely, I've been really craving, or not craving, but one of the things that sound good to eat are like baked bread. 
So like I made banana bread the other day because we had like three rotting bananas. Um, and that was so good. And I was so sad when I ate it all because I wanted more of it. And then I'm planning on making pumpkin bread in a couple weeks here for Thanksgiving. And I'm really excited to eat just baked bread. I don't know, it's so weird. I haven't been feeling too tired. Um, I can usually make it pretty late at night. There are some times where um, at like nine or 10, like I'll just all of a sudden feel super tired and just have to go to bed. But for the most part, I'm still um, feeling energy-ish. Like I said in my last video, like I can't do things for too long because then I just get tired and I just need to sit, like I need to get off my feet. Yeah, kind of energy, but kind of not. <laughs> I have started to feel heartburn this week. I'd say that's probably like my newest symptom. And it, it really just happens at night right now. A lot of times it's just like a little bit of it and I can usually just ignore it and it'll go away. There was one day this past week, I can't remember which day it was, but it would not go away. So I actually did have to break out the Tums and have Tums. That was the first time I had Tums. And at 19 weeks, or maybe it was 18 weeks, I don't remember how far I was, I just feel like that's really early for heartburn. I feel like in my other pregnancies, I got it much later on. So I'm just kind of like, oh gosh, if I'm starting to get it a little bit now, I can't even imagine how bad it'll be at the end. I usually get pretty bad heartburn towards the end and I'm taking Tums like constantly. So we'll see how, how it fares for me. I'm trying to think of like anything else that's like new, but it's so hard to talk about things in the second trimester because everything is just going well and every week kind of feels the same except I feel the baby a little bit more um, and then I might get a new symptom here or there, but uh, for the most part, I kind of forget I'm pregnant. I am wearing my maternity jeans like full time now. I, I cannot go back to my regular jeans. Um, this baby is popping out. I can wear some of my regular shirts still, like this is a regular shirt, but it's like a very stretchy, baggy shirt. A lot of my regular shirts, like the belly is getting too big and I cannot fit. So it just kind of depends. I haven't really had any headaches, which is really, really good. I haven't had to take Tylenol in a long time now, which is awesome. I have found that at night, I have a really hard time getting comfortable sitting on the couch. And I don't know if it's the couch, we did just get a new couch, or if it's the fact that like my back just hurts at the end of the day, or like I don't have, like I really need support under my back. And I found this up with every pregnancy, like I always need like a pillow or something behind my back. So I don't know if I just haven't found the right pillow or what, but um, yeah, that's been really annoying, is not being able to get comfortable while I'm trying to like unwind at the end of the day before I have to go to bed. We just had daylight savings time um, a couple days ago and so I do feel like that's kind of been messing with just like sleep and then just like functioning. <laughs> so a lot of it's like, is it cause the time changed or is it cause I'm pregnant? So anyway, different things about that. But I think that's gonna be it for this week. I really don't have that much to say. I am going to have my anatomy scan two weeks from yesterday. So less than two weeks. Um, and we will find out the gender of this baby. So I am planning on doing um, an old wives tale vlog just to go through some and, and see what way I'm leaning more towards. I still really have no idea if this baby is a boy or a girl. I'm hoping it's a girl, but I'm prepared if it's a boy. So we will see. Drop your guesses down below um, what you think it's going to be. We will record a video. I have been looking online at different options for gender reveals. Now that it's our third, I'm like, oh, how do I want to do this one? With our first, we did confetti cannons. With our second, we had um, our oldest uh, bite into a cupcake. And then on the inside was the color of the gender, so it was blue. And now with this one, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> What do I want to do? I'm kind of leaning towards, they have like these powder cannons where you just have one for the mom and one for the dad and then you just like screw it at the bottom and then boom, it pops out smoke, the colored smoke. I kind of like that because I can get the blue and the pink because we're going to find out the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to go out and like 
find a gender reveal for that specific gender. So I think I'm just gonna get that on Amazon and just have that and then whatever the gender is, we'll just either pick the blue cannon or the pink cannon and then we can just set it off outside on Thanksgiving and take a video and everybody will know what we're having. So I'm excited to know so we can start thinking about names. People keep asking us if we've thought about names and I've thought about zero names because if it's a boy, we're screwed <laughs> because we already picked two names and I have to pick another. Um, if it's a girl, it'll be a little bit easier, but I just haven't even thought about girl names because I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but we still have two more weeks. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, but thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions that you want me to answer down below. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.